Guys, I swear I'm almost done. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having such a good day today. In today's video, I am doing a huge end of summer slash back to school haul. I have so much to share with you guys. I am pretty certain that this is my biggest haul by far. I have stuff from H&M, Garage, Rue 21, Forever 21, Boohoo, Madewell, Nectar. Picked up a ton of stuff in Taiwan when I was visiting last month, Express, and Fabletics. I will try my best to provide links for everything I found in today's haul, and that'll be in the description box. I have some really great videos coming up in the next couple weeks for you guys. Back to school outfit ideas, a thrift haul, and so much more. So make sure you guys are subscribed down below. Join the family. It's a pretty great place to be. I'm trying to hit 200 thousand subscribers by my birthday which is September 6th so you should help your girl out and uh, subscribe down below and with that let's hop into the video The first section of this haul is stuff from Garage. I've seen so much about them lately, so I finally decided to check them out. First item I got is this cropped, off-the-shoulder white eyelet blouse, and I think this is so gorgeous, so lovely. And this top just really makes like tan skin pop. It is such a perfect summer blouse. The next thing I picked up is this black mesh top. This was only $5. I thought this was a very fun piece, something perfect for nights out, hanging out with friends, date nights. And the last little bits I got from Garage are actually bralettes and underwear, which I'm not gonna show you guys all of them because I know there's some weird people here on the internet, but I wanted to talk about this deal anyways. They were doing a bralette and underwear deal for five pieces for $15, which I thought was pretty amazing because their bralettes are usually $18, so, Obviously, I took advantage of that deal because it was an amazing deal. Buy five things for less than you would for one. The first bralette that I got is like this little flamingo print. And the other bralette is this periwinkle blue shade. And it's kind of just basic. Your basic bralette. And the underwear I got matches this bralette, so it looks exactly the same. The first thing I have from Forever 21 is something that I love. You guys know I love it. It's... I mean, it's a staple in my wardrobe. It is a pajama set. So the pajama set looks like this. It is black and white striped with little watercolor watermelons. And I think this is adorable. I feel like everybody just needs a pajama set or two in their life. They make you feel cute and put together. The next thing I got was something I wore to my Don't Disney trip. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, I'll link it below as well as above. It is this spaghetti strap tie front dress. And it has a painted kind of town city-esque print on it got lots of compliments on it and i actually found this on sale for nine dollars this is another great end of summer piece but if you did want to make it school appropriate toss a denim jacket over it it makes it very cute and it hides those spaghetti straps i also picked up this light blush colored t-shirt i think this is a really nice basic t-shirt that has a little bit of something going on and the last thing i got from forever 21 is a bathing suit that was actually sent to me and it's too big so i'm definitely be listing this on my poshmark i have a ton of stuff i'm going to be listing on poshmark so if you guys want to buy really cute barely used clothes for pretty affordable prices check out my Poshmark it's linked down below and I'm sad because it doesn't fit me so I hope it goes to a, a good home to one of you guys so if you want to buy this comment in the comment section or go find it on my Poshmark <laughs> Next up from Boohoo, I got a couple t-shirts. The first t-shirt, just this black t-shirt, it says bonjour, and it has red stripes going across it. Also says 1995, don't know why, don't ask me. I love a good t-shirt to just throw on when you're gonna go do errands or you don't wanna put too much effort into your appearance, but you still wanna look good and be comfortable. I think t-shirts like this are just the perfect go-to. I also know that Boohoo is doing a site-wide 50% off sale, so go check out Boohoo. The other t-shirt I picked up from Boohoo is this off-white colored t-shirt. It says Joshua Tree on it and it has a sunset. Joshua Tree is pretty near to where I grew up and it's also where my husband grew up and I just liked it. And the last thing I picked up from Boohoo is a two pack of scrunchies. One is missing though right now because my cat played with it and it's just kind of gone now. So I have one, um, but these were two for a dollar and they're just like these velvet black scrunchies. I really, really love them. It's super hot right now. So I'm going to tie my hair up. I'm going to take this opportunity to put it up. Honestly, that is so nice because it was getting so hot in here. Moving on to Nectar, which is this store in downtown Claremont, California. This area 
that's really cute near where I grew up. I went into their store the other day with my younger brother. When I was younger, I always wanted to shop in Nectar, but when I was in high school, I I couldn't afford to shop there. It was definitely pricier. So I never shopped there, but they have the cutest clothes. And now that I'm a full grown adult and I have my own money, and I don't have to live off my lunch money and I'll buy my own things. So that was exciting. So we went in there and I picked a couple things up and it was exciting, but I also, I still think it's kind of pricey. The first thing I got from Nectar is another blush colored shirt. This one says mother lover, which I thought was funny. And this t-shirt was $18.50. See, like I said, it's, you know, a little bit pricier. It still is pricey to me this day, but I felt like it was kind of, it was nice. It was a good feeling of finally being able to afford to buy something from there. And I was like, heck yeah, Jessica, this is awesome. And the other thing I picked up from Nectar is adorable. And it had this gorgeous matching skirt, but I honestly, I could not justify myself to buy, to spend that much on three pieces. So I, I put the skirt back and I got the top. The top I got is a red and white striped tie front crop top. This top was $24.50. I actually recently did a collab with Express and it was like the coolest thing ever because that was one of my favorite companies to work with and they were awesome and they had me go on a shopping spree. So, I mean, heck yeah. The first thing I got is this fun belt, which I thought was just so sick. It has these two gold snakes on the belt buckle and this was on sale for $30. Then I also picked up this white cami that also features adjustable straps. And this cami actually features like a kind of built-in bra type of thing where there's that elastic band and then another layer of fabric. They call it a built-in shelf bra. The next basic I got is the same cami as the white one, but in black, has the same built-in shelf bra as well as the adjustable straps. Then I got a couple of bodysuits. The first one is this black mock neck turtleneck bodysuit. And this one has kind of a rib texture going on, which I really like. And typically I, I hate turtlenecks. I look like an eggplant. When you're petite and busty, turtlenecks just like, they just don't look good. They just don't. But this one, because the turtleneck was so short, it's a mock neck. It actually was quite flattering and looked very elegant. So I was very happily surprised about that. The other bodysuit I got is so, so cute. I love it so much. It's this red, cream, and blue bodysuit, and it has this zipper up front. It almost looks like a Baywatch bathing suit or something. It highlights your silhouette. It's gorgeous, and it's fun. I picked up this loose-fitting red tank top that says champagne all day. I love the fit on this. It's so loose and flowy, so it's comfortable, but somehow it also drapes to highlight your silhouette. I also got this gray t-shirt that has the word trouble into the left shoulder, kind of a more basic tee. Then for denim, they were having a crazy sale. It was buy one, get one for $9.90. So that was amazing. But I picked up four pairs of denim. The first one is from their Denim Perfect line. It's stretchy, which was so nice. They kind of fit like jeggings and it's an ankle legging super high rise. I love black jeans in fall. I think it looks so cute with some Chelsea booties and you know, a denim jacket. The next pair of denim are high rise leggings and I got these in a short size cause I'm short. Then to combat my two dark pieces of denim, I decided to pick up two lighter wash pairs. The first one is a cropped legging that fits mid rise, which is still very high waisted on me and they look like this. And the last pair of denim I got from Express, I've worn these quite a few times since I've gotten these. They are the Stretch Plus Denim Perfect High Rise Leggings. Also from Express, I bought my husband two pairs of nice dress slacks because he needs those in his life and he looks so handsome in them. I went to two different H&M stores, one in Taiwan and then one at the Mall of America. And the one at Mall of America was actually doing a pretty good sale. So I guess I'll go with them first. The first thing I found is this very cute pair of trousers. They have a fun black and white print. And this pair of trousers was only $5. I love the way they fit. I think they look so cute and they're very fun. And just to give you guys a reference of sizing because H&M has like some busted sizing. I usually wear anywhere from a size four to a size six, but at H&M I'm a size eight. I could even dip into a size 10. Their sizing is whack. I've talked about it in hauls before and so many people have agreed. So try before you buy and size up. Picked up two white t-shirts. They were two for $10 and they're just literally basic white t-shirts. I like the fit of these though. I think when it comes to buying 
more basic pieces, you really have to keep an eye on fit. Because they are so basic, it really draws attention to how it fits on your body and how it looks. These white t-shirts also have more of a boxy fit and it's a little bit more cropped than a regular t-shirt. So for me, this is very flattering. Next from H&M, I found another cute thing on sale. This was $3. It is this red and white, thin, kind of meshy, long sleeve top. This reminds me of something JC Marie would wear. I love her. Let me know if you guys know who that is and if you listen to her podcast or follow her on Instagram. She has such fashion goals and feed goals and she's just, she's awesome. I love her. Now for the stuff from the H&M in Taiwan. First up, we have this white crop top that actually does not fit like a crop top on me because I have a short torso, but it is this white crop top that says Honolulu Beach, Hawaii. Don't know why I'm buying this Hawaii shirt in Taiwan, but I did. And the final thing I picked up from H&M is another pair of jeans. They are these vintage fit high-waisted jeans, and I love the wash on these. I think this is the perfect denim wash in my opinion. And these were on sale for seven US dollars. Guys, I swear I'm almost done. Now I did feature some of these pieces in videos that I did recently, but I didn't do like a whole haul, so I just thought I'd throw them in here. <laughs> The stuff I got from Taiwan were just from small stores. None of them are branded or from stores that I will be able to link. First item I got is this gorgeous oversized t-shirt. I think this is in my top five of my favorites from this haul. It is this pink oversized t-shirt that says Paradise. I think this is so beautiful and so kind of vintage inspired looking. And I love the fit on this. I think it looks so cute. Then I bought a couple of button ups. They are very also kind of retro vintage inspired looking. This one is red, white, and green. I think this looks very 70s inspired. The other button up I got is that same kind of retro inspired look. It is red, white, and cream, and it's got little polka dots all over it. I love this. This is definitely also in my top five. It's so cute. Then I also picked up this red and white Hawaiian print button-up tank top, which I thought was adorable. This is exactly my kind of print that I would be into, but at the store, she would not let me try it on. She said I just had to buy it, and it was only five or seven dollars, so I was like, I mean, okay. But when I got back to the hotel and I tried this on, I was so, so sad to find out that this just, it doesn't really fit. Very unfortunately, my chest makes me too big to fit into this. It does that thing where it like splits the buttons and it's just sad and it doesn't work. So if you guys wanna buy this, I will also be listing this on my Poshmark, RIP. Next up, I picked up this mauve colored, colored button up shirt. It's more crappy, which looked very nice on me with my short torso. I also picked up another blush colored piece. As you guys can see, I kind of have a favorite color and a theme going on with my wardrobe. I picked up this muted kind of mint green color. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up. It kind of looks gray, but it's green, guys. Um, but I promise it's green, guys. This is kind of one of those like loose button-ups. It ties at the bottom, and it just kind of has a very flowy, relaxed fit. This next top I am crazy about. I think it's so, so cute. It is a crochet tank top, and this one is also they're like little pom-pom balls. I think this is so gorgeous. And my last two things I picked up from Taiwan are just a couple tank tops. The first one is this nude rib tank top. I've worn this quite a bit lately. It's very comfortable, it's flattering. And the last thing I picked up, another tank top that's more kind of spaghetti strappy. I love Madewell. They're my dream brand. I would love to work with someday. Madewell, if you see this, hit your girl up. So you guys are probably gonna laugh at me for this first piece from Madewell because you guys just are. When I see a good basic, I just, I go for it because basics, they make the world go round. They look good. They go with everything. Got another white t-shirt, guys. But it was on super sale at Madewell. It was down to like $16 or $15, which is a pretty great price for their t-shirts. It has that same kind of neckline and it just looks really nice. And I like the material and it looked good. So yeah, I went for it. And I only got two things at Madewell. So the other thing I picked up is this red bandana. That looks like this. Very cute. Look how cute this is. It's adorable. First thing I got from there is this gray t-shirt dress. I love t-shirt dresses now because of this. It looked so cute and it was just such a nice thing to throw on on such a hot summer day. I wore this on a day where it was 110 and it was perfect. This next thing I got is definitely not school appropriate, but it was very, very cute. It is this black crop top and it has those 
trendy varsity stripes going on on the side. Then I picked up this cream colored wrap top with ruching on the side. Cut on the neckline is very, very deep as you guys can tell. If you guys do want to make this more, I don't know, dress code appropriate, or if you just, you know, want to add a little bit more coverage, all you have to do is add a cami or bodysuit underneath and it's the perfect, you know, bit of coverage that you'll need. Then I also picked up this pair of light wash denim jeans, has a little floral embroidery going on on the side, very cute. And finally from Rue 21, I picked up this blue and white striped with floral print button up dress. Last, but certainly not least, Fabletics. I picked up this pink tropical print sports bra, and I, I am so happy with their sports bras. They're so comfortable. They provide so much coverage. I am so jazzed about this. And then I also picked up this pink sports bra, which is like hardcore. I love this. This is so, so cute. And like I said, like that support is just there. Like I also got a workout tank top. This one is white, very flowy. It's mesh, obviously great for working out. Then I also got these super duper cute pink tropical print leggings. I am crazy about these. They're so gorgeous. Then I also picked up this black sports bra. It has, you know, some detailing going on in the back. I kind of have been wearing this as an everyday bra versus just like a workout bra. It's just so comfortable and it, it works for, you know, a bust your chest. And the final thing I got from Fabletics was another pair of leggings. These ones are more kind of capri cut. They kind of cut like right after your knee. That was it for today's haul. I actually have a super secret surprise for you guys who have watched this far, um, who have finished the video, who are amazing and just, you know, real ones. I, okay, I decided I wanted to stick in a super secret giveaway in this video for the people who watch, you know, all the way through. Main attraction for this giveaway is this gorgeous Take Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette from BH Cosmetics. It looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous guys it is so so beautiful and I actually am also gonna throw in some other goodies some highlighting palettes some lipsticks and just a couple other random makeup items if you guys want to enter subscribe to me here on YouTube like this video follow me on Instagram comment below in the comment section what thing you are most excited about for fall and along with your favorite fall thing that you're most excited for comment your instagram handles so i can find you guys and contact you for whoever wins the giveaway for me i would put probably halloween and like those crisp fall nights you can comment as many times as you want in the comment section but i will be checking to make sure you are subscribed to me here on youtube and you're also following me on instagram so make sure you do those two and yeah, good luck guys. It's just kind of like a small little surprise giveaway. I will be picking the winner two weeks from when this video goes live. So you guys have two weeks to enter and yeah, good luck. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.